So this is the BMAX X15 laptop. This is a business kind of laptop with a gamery kind of logo. We're going to check its physical overview, features and more. Everything you need to know, coming up. Hey what's up guys, this is Mac and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. So first, let's check what's inside the box. So inside the box are another two boxes. A small box has the charging adapter with different kinds of outlet plug converter. So this should work whichever country you're at. And the big box contains the laptop itself, obviously. The manual, of course. And this laptop bag is also included in the package. So for around $300, I think this is a good deal. I know some of you may ask about the specs, so let's lay it down, shall we? So this has an Intel Gemini Lake N4120 processor with 4 cores, 4 threads with a base frequency of 1.10 GHz and a burst frequency of 2.6 GHz with 8GB of LPDDR4 RAM with 128GB of SSD, 15.6 inch and 1920x1080p IPS display Intel 9th Gen UHD graphics with USB 3 with full-size keyboard layout. For your info, this is not backlit so let's not expect much with the price range we have. Now let's check out some physical overview. So the build is some sort of metal in matte dark gray finish which uh, I really love because it doesn't absorb much fingerprints. There is also a logo in front and the logo looks like kind of a gamer type logo which is a bit awkward with this type of laptop since this is for uh, businessmen and not for gamers. But I kind of like it because it looks like the Transformers. Anyway, on the right side there is a USB 3 input a TRRS 3.5mm jack input even though it only shows a headphone logo but it's actually a TRRS input. So if your headphones has that one or that connection your audio and mic will work in this one. And we also have a micro SD slot. On the left side is another USB 3 input, charging input with uh, a lighting indicator, red while charging and green when it's fully charged. And lastly, the mini HDMI port. Now, if you want to know more about its dimensions, just check this out and just pause the video if you have to. Underneath there's not much to see but we have 4 rubber feet to keep it in place and also an expandable M.2 slot just in case you wanted to add some storage capacity. Now let's open up and check out the keyboard layout. As you can see it's really large with a numpad keys on this side, power on and off button is over here and the rest is what you will see in a typical laptop keyboard layout. I'm not a fan of this function keys slash MIDI keys since it's the other way around. I mean on the fly this keys functions as MIDI keys aka your volume up and down, play, pause button, brightness, etc. I hate the fact that you need to press function key first before you'll be able to access F1 to F12. Wherein this will be problematic in the future since if you want to access the BIOS later on. Speaking of BIOS, to enter therein, you have to press function key plus F7 while it is booting. Though the keyboard has a nice feel in it, perhaps it is because it doesn't have much wobble in every key which is greatly appreciated. By the way, the touchpad is very large and also has the several gestures for different functions. You can check it out in their website for more info and it does work really smooth. But it doesn't ignore my palm which is unfortunate though the fingertip works very well. Right and left click feels natural but 
I think the build is a bit weak so handle it with care if you will. Three LED indicators are over here. The camera is obviously located over here and will show you a sample video in a bit. Built-in speakers are in between the body and the keyboard and it really sounds terrible like any other laptops in 2021. The screen is a 15.6 inch 1920 by 1080p 60Hz IPS panel so no matter which angle you look at it, the colors will be the same. Though the lighting glare will be a very very big problem if you use this outdoor and it's quite annoying. This laptop comes with a Windows 10 Home pre-installed but it has no Windows key license of itself. Usually the Windows key sticker is placed near the keyboard or underneath the laptop but I can't find any. I asked the store about it and they sent me this. <laughs> And eventually they told me that I don't need that key if ever I will reinstall Windows. Anyway, at this point I didn't bother to push my lock since it's only a $300 laptop. So I went to check it out myself and it seems that the Windows key of this laptop is a volume key. Now let's test things up. First let's check out the camera. Apparently the maximum quality of this is 480p and 30Hz and yes. It's one of the downside of this laptop, but I guess this will do for casual web meetings. Anyway, let's test things out. So this is the sound of the laptop's built-in mic. I don't know how it performs, but let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. By the way, this laptop is going to be used for online teaching, so this will be perfect for desktop workload like using google docs web browsing zoom or google meetings and all this is not for gaming so don't even try running one since this laptop's temperature comes in really hot 40 to 47c in idle and 65 to 70c during zoom meetings google meetings or what not i mean those temperature is too high for simple desktop workload and I think this is because there is no ventilation of any kind and it's just using the metal body to dissipate heat, so to speak. Now in conclusion, for a $300 laptop, I think this is a good buy. I like the fact that it has 4 cores, 4 threads, and 4 120 CPU, 8GB of RAM with an SSD boot drive and also an expandable M.2 drive is also available. 15 inch IPS panel in 1080p 60Hz and a really nice thin body laptop. I also love the IO especially the TRRS jack input and the SD card reader is also appreciated. Keyboard layout is good and typing is easy and lastly the large touchpad is also nice. Now for the downsides of this laptop, first of all the camera, it really looks terrible. Built-in mic comes in very hot and picks up a lot of background sound. The audio of the built-in speakers are also terrible. So <laughs> yeah, never use that because it's annoying. The MIDI keys and F1 to F12 takes time to get used to, at least for me. And the manual doesn't have an instruction on how to enter BIOS. So I have to research on my own before I'll be able to know that it was function key plus f7 is the way to enter bios by the way you will need to know how to enter bios just in case you want to change something in it in the future with all of that said now let's talk about the recommendations well i will still recommend this laptop since it has a lot of good qualities in it especially the specs bro well uh, the downside are just my skepticism so i don't think you shouldn't buy it because of those reasons Anyway, if you need one for your business work, online teaching, online schooling, this is a good option. I placed a link down in the description below for you to check it out. So that's it guys, this is Mac and I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If it does, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.